since it is an old month that means that we get more unboxings and try-ons this is going to be the try-on piece for the ipsy glam bag plus and the glam bag for the month of february just in case um it doesn't make sense of what i'm saying i have issues i know okay so let's dive on in if you haven't seen the unboxing make sure you go check it out i will link it down below but i'm doing them separate now because people love that I am purposely going to avoid basically the skincare in the bags, i.e. the Biro New York. It is an oil. I'm not going to apply an oil on my face because then I'm going to go in with like makeup. You know what I mean? Like I really want to try all the makeup. So I'm going to set this over to the side. Um, the oil will most definitely break down the makeup. So I try to avoid like actual oils right before applying makeup. But I will uh, try the Yensa Pink Lotus. Um, it is their Peptide Renewal Face Cream. I haven't tried this yet. So I'll just take a little bit of that. Doesn't smell like anything. It has a very, very light fragrance. Nothing that's really noticeable. I'm not sure if it's like lotus or what. It smells pretty, but it's so faint that most people can't smell it. Oh wow, this feels amazing. You're supposed to apply this morning and at night and it is okay to apply makeup over it, which is why we're doing this because I did not apply moisturizer. So that came in handy. Now let's play around with what I got into the beauty box game to begin with. And that is um, the makeup. We are going to try this palette. I don't think I've ever tried. No, ditto. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Have we tried ditto before? Probably. Nothing that actually stands out in my mind though. So I'm not sure whether I loved it or not, but it sounds familiar. This is the per, per, what? This is their per, Persephone palette? Persephone, the packaging is beautiful. So we definitely want to play around with color and I'm curious about that one. So we're definitely applying that on the lid. I am gonna apply a quick base. I'm gonna use the NYX eyeshadow base in their, uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's their nude. Looky like this. You can use a concealer if you want to. And yes, I am going in with the eyes first. Solely because I, I don't know. I don't really have much of a reason. I kind of go with the flow if I want to do my makeup, like my face makeup first, then I do that. And then if I want to work on the eyes, then I work on the eyes. At least with my face, when I've worked on other people, like models and stuff, I definitely work on the eyes first. It's just a cleaner finish. Boom, okay, base is done. I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip into this shade over here. Um, it is in a different font, kind of like a cursive, but not, almost like code. So I'm gonna assume the shade is S. I'm not sure if it's a shimmer or a matte. It looks like a matte. I just kinda wanna apply that on the crease and see what happens. Don't know what to expect out of these formulas. And Ipsy usually has really good product in their bags. I feel like there was one once i can't recall i know i have it somewhere on my channel but there was one palette that i was like why is this even in here it was not good and i think it was a collab palette i just can't remember which one but this was a good maybe two years ago so that tells you something it's rare when they put something in bags that are not good okay so i have this shade on the crease and it's literally the same color from the base so let's move on to another color let's do this one e it looks like the letter e let's start applying some color i'm gonna there we go we've got some color i'm gonna apply that out here but on the crease i'm gonna bring it about halfway yeah oh that's cute does it build is the question La preguntita. okay dun, 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 dun. And then once most of the product is off of the brush and it's already on your lid, then you kind of blend out to warm the area up. That way you don't have to go in with another color. I am really excited but slightly concerned about this color here because I am not sure. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of like a dual chrome, but it's not. And it has like a copper, gold, and pink to it. I don't know what it's going to look like on the eyes, but I do want it on my eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, this is more like a glitter topper. Okay, I'm kind of disappointed. I am disappointed. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go in with my finger in this shade over here. And I'm going to apply that. Oh no, nothing's happening. What is going on? What is going on? For real. Um, Taking that same brush, I'm going to dip into this shade. Let's see what it... Okay. Um, No. 
No, 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 never mind. I'm gonna take the same, but Jesus, I'm not gonna keep dirtying my brushes. I'm gonna go into this darker shade. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's doing something. We're doing damage control right now. I am going to automatically tell you, and it hurts me to say this, the shimmers are no bueno in this palette. Like, no silving. Um, the shimmers are more like toppers more than anything. And as I'm blending this darker shade, it's going away. What is going on? Y los colores están bonitos. These colors are so pretty. What is, like for real? Yo no entiendo. Y que fue? See, like I'm trying to blend the crease and this maroony shade is kind of dissipating. You still have some pigment, pero a donde va? So we're gonna make this work. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo funcionar lo mejor que uno pueda. Cause you guys know I can always make something work. Pero I am gonna tell you this palette is not where it needs to be. Color story is beautiful. Los colores están hermosos, pero honestamente esta paleta no sirve. La formulación como que le falta, le falta. No está bien, no, no. Honestamente no vale la pena. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? I wanna know how much this costs. I wouldn't pay for this formula out of pocket for sure. Mm -mm. I mean, it's great to try it in a Ipsy bag or even BoxyCharm, which I think most people would be upset to see this in BoxyCharm. I wouldn't be shocked if it ends up in a BoxyCharm, but I'm gonna tell you, the formula is not, it's not it. It is not it. I'm gonna find out what the price is. If I find it, I'm gonna put it here on screen. Um, si encuentro el precio de la paleta, les voy a poner aquí para que sepan, but no vale la pena, totally not worth it. Um, this is as good as we're gonna get with the eyes, unfortunately, and I'm, I'm like obsessed with this shimmer shade. It's just not doing anything, and if anything, it's, there's a huge dent in already, and look. So I am gonna just pop that on the lid, and unfortunately, call it a day, because this is not doing what it should be doing. And I know you guys are gonna be disappointed when you try this palette. If you're people who want color payoff and ease of access and just be able to use it fairly easily, this is just not gonna do it. That's not pretty. This is not a pretty look at Oh, Okay, I'm done. I'm not even gonna mess around with this palette anymore. It's just not worth it. Detox water, please. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Oh, it burns. Okay, next. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna try to do something with the eyeballs because we don't have choice. We're gonna use Beauty For Real eyeliners. Here's the thing. I have tried the Beauty For Real eyeliners. I don't know if the formula is any different, so we're gonna wait and see, but I'm gonna tell you when I initially tried them, like the originals um, in the black packaging, the eyeliners are not terrible. They're just not the best. They're not as creamy as I would like them to be, at least from what I remember. And your ability to blend with them was not where it needed to be, in my personal humble opinion. Um, but I love Beauty For Real, you guys know that. So this is their new packaging. Let's see what happens. I don't know, maybe they can help me salvage this. The packaging is cute, is a nice nude. Depending on how the formula is, I'll either use an angled brush or a flat brush. We'll see what happens. Let's line the top. Okay, this is much smoother than I remember. Maybe, maybe mine just dried out. By the way, I do have a discount code with Beauty For Real. I don't like pushing codes like that, especially if I get commissions out of it. I'm weird that way. A lot of people push their codes for commissions. Again, I don't. I would get commission if you get anything from Beauty For Real. Using my code, you don't have to use my code, but you do get a discount. So that's something to keep in mind. Wow, this is blending. This might actually help me save this eye look. I'm gonna go into the Aether Beauty palette with that same definer brush. And I, I'm not necessarily setting this, but what I wanna do is I wanna kinda like smudge this up a little more. And I wanna have a cute little blend going on without it being super heavy. So I need a little bit of eyeshadow to create that effect. And then with a big fluffy brush, I'm just blending that out. When eyeshadows are not that great, do you see how much work you have to put into to try to turn it around? It is so frustrating. That's why I don't use or keep eyeshadow palettes that are no bueno because this is not worth it. Like I know I would never go back to that palette solely because it is just so difficult to salvage the look. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. This is gonna clearly take a while. So I will be right back. 
boy that took a lot for me to try to fix this i'm gonna go in with heaven's door by beauty for real and i'm gonna apply that all over the waterline this is a nudie shimmer not everyone can get away with doing a nudie shimmer on the waterline solely because it can be somewhat uncomfortable for some people the shimmers in it are so um finely milled that they're not uncomfortable at least for me and i cannot do metallics on the eyes whenever i do anything with shimmers on the eyes usually my eyes get super irritated and extremely uncomfortable but beauty for reals formula is actually really nice so it i've never had an issue with applying that directly on my waterline i'm going to use the roller last of by benefit that was in my glam bag i am going to kind of blend my falsies with my realsies and i did get a comment on this before I'm um, asking, well, if you're putting falsies, why are you even applying mascara? See, whenever you apply shimmers or like just any eyeshadows on your lids, unfortunately, some of that product tends to kind of like lay on your actual lashes. And so if you want a really, really nice dark base for your lashes to go on top of, you are going to want to apply mascara. Not only does it create a nice dark base, but it creates a nice bed for your falsies. So your lashes will be a little stronger and a little tougher to hold on to your lashes. And then to add to that, once you pop your falsies on, if you apply some mascara, it helps blend both the real ones and the fake ones together. So, I mean, everyone knows you'll be wearing falsies, but it just looks a lot better. All right, I'm gonna use the very same mascara to apply that on the lower lashes. Just gonna kind of build it. I remember back in the day, like I was such a perfectionist and I felt like my makeup always needed to be on point. And I used to get so frustrated when things were not going my way, um, like today but i've slowly gotten out of my head and i've learned to work around it and life has gotten so much easier oh my goodness but that's okay look so far we have put it together it's not like the most amazing it's not the most glam at least in my opinion it's just not um i'm so used to like palettes working so well and me being able to execute anything this here is almost like that this here is just like you know but um we're gonna go ahead and apply some fix plus i think this little bottle is like the cutest thing ever and i'm gonna try to figure out how to like actually get it open that way i can refill it and uh take this on the go because this is so much more convenient than the really big bottle but we're gonna go ahead and spray the skin so that i can get you know like that smooth kind of finish um and then i'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge the one that i used like for my eyeballs and stuff and i'm gonna press that in and this one is not damp i used the sponge dry today now we're gonna apply the context lipstick again this is in the shade hide your heart look how pretty she is and i do want to apply a lip liner with this so i'm gonna use bare minerals natural lip liner Believe it or not, today is one of those days that I would consider it being a bad makeup day. Ooh, I like the feeling of this lipstick. Okay, I mean, it's really pretty. I like the combo. Not that you need to do this combo. Any kind of like natural nudie lip liner would work. I like to apply lip liner just because it makes it, I don't have really big lips, so it makes it easier for me to stay within the lines. And it just makes everything look crisper and more polished. I like this lipstick, it looks really pretty. Of course, this is not something that I would wear a mask over. Nonetheless, it looks nice. Um, I'm going to, my hair is wet because I got in the shower uh, prior to filming. All right, this is as good as it's gonna get right now because I am going to let it fully ear dry so then I can style it later on. Let me know what you guys think about these products. Um, do you think I'm being harsh about the palette? Because I don't, I really don't. Like, I haven't struggled like that in a good minute. Did you choose any of these items for your bags? Let me know in the comment section. I'd really love to know. Here's a friendly reminder that YouTube gets a little funny sometimes, so make sure you are still subscribed to my channel and that the notification bell is on. I have no idea why this happens, but every single month, so many of you guys get unsubscribed by YouTube. It just automatically happens, and I'm going to be honest. It's pretty much every single day I see the numbers go down by a few people, and it's like daily. So if you can do me a favor, make sure that it still says subscribe for you and that the notification bell is on that way you still get my alerts and stay tuned because yes we have boxycharm coming your way we have like the unboxing and the try-ons we have the aia beauty bundle and a whole bunch more plus i do have 
um, I think two giveaways at this point that I will be announcing this month and one of them is amazing and it's in collab with one of the beauty boxes. So make sure you are tuned in. Okay, now that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.